All right, so great weather this weekend for whatever people are planning, right? That's right. Especially if you're going to be finding that prime spot on the parade route uh, tomorrow morning. The, the sunshine's going to be out, temperatures will be comfortable, nice. and yeah. we'll have highs in the 60s tomorrow. But outside now, we have that bright sunshine. Look at this. Uh, from Sterling, Colorado, the shot with bright blue skies out there and sunshine. Same at Loveland Ski Area. It's been a wonderful day to be up in the mountains with a little fresh powder from the last 24 hours with our storm system that moved on through. And then here for the Front Range, hardly a cloud in site. Now our temperatures today had a nice rebound here in the mid 50s for the front range 60s for southeastern Colorado and then in the mountains mostly 30s and 40s. We cooled things down a little bit in the wake of the storm system that moved through but tomorrow we'll be back in the low 60s so it'll be sunny and warmer tomorrow. 50s on Sunday another storm system coming in from the west very similar to what we just had. We'll have a chance for rain into the afternoon and evening on Sunday. For the time being though nice and dry a little windy temperatures in the low 50s right now our wind gusts have been a around 40 to 50 miles an hour in places from DIA up toward Thornton. Right now we have 51 degrees in downtown Denver with our winds at 24 miles an hour and that's sustained. We've had higher gusts than that. The gusts at DIA 32 miles an hour right now, 43 for Berthoud Pass and 25 in Fort Collins. This is all thanks to the tail end of this storm system moving away from Colorado. So as it gets even farther uh, to the east, our winds will die down. In the meantime, we still have a couple more hours for our uh, fire weather warning here for southern Colorado from Colorado Springs down toward Trinidad. Denver is not under any warning or watch, but wanted to let you know that that is still in effect for a couple more hours. Our satellite radar picture is very quiet now, just the back edge of this storm system moving away from our state. And we had a few scattered showers here around Akron about an hour ago. Those have died down and we still have that snow moving out of uh, our vicinity where we had snow early this morning. Tonight, 51 degrees by 7 o'clock. We'll have 48 by 8 o'clock, 43 by 10 o'clock and 39 as we get closer to midnight. Our overnight lows will be right around 30 degrees for this evening, 20s farther to the north. Here in Denver, we'll have 30 degrees with partly cloudy skies and those winds definitely dying down. I don't think you'll really notice it tomorrow. Winds between 5 and 15 miles an hour during the day. Temperatures in the low 60s. We'll have them right around 70 degrees tomorrow for southeastern Colorado. Our future cast 9 a.m. to about lunchtime into the late afternoon hours. We'll have some winds coming in from the south, but temperatures in the 60s, a few scattered snow showers in the high country, and then that extends into Sunday as well. We'll see more snow coming in from the west here uh, Saturday night into Sunday. So a couple more inches of snow for the high country. If you're making plans and you want to have in snow involved in your skiing or boarding, go on Sunday because that's when we'll see that show up. As for your St. Paddy's Day Parade forecast, 43 degrees by 9. 30 in the morning when it starts, mostly sunny by 11 a.m., 49 degrees and 53 by noon. So nice mild temperatures for us as we top out in the low 60s tomorrow afternoon, 50s on Sunday with a chance for afternoon and evening showers, then partly cloudy skies on Monday with highs right around 50 degrees and our first day of spring on Tuesday, 56 for a high then. Then we warm it up. Feels a little more like spring around here Wednesday through Friday. Highs in the mid to upper 60s into Thursday and Friday with another chance for showers Friday afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, but as this storm system coming in from the west gets a little closer, we'll be able to uh, decipher on Sunday whether or not we'll see heavy rain or a rain snow mix into Sunday night. We'll Got take it. it. Anything yeah, right. Thank you, Stacey. Mm -hmm.